Hi, this is Chad with NovaSign, and today we're going to go over uh, playlists, what are playlists, and how to create a playlist using NovaSign's digital signage software. So let's first start off with what is a playlist. A playlist is a sequence of templates that you would like to play on the screen. You can set it to play just one template all the time. You can set it to rotate through templates. Let's say, for example, uh, like a slideshow, right? Images and videos rotating through every five, 10 seconds, whatever. Or you can create more of a, uh, you know, a smart playlist in the sense of pre-scheduling your content to play on specific times, uh, setting expiration dates. So maybe, uh, you know, using the system, you know, scheduling the template to play on a specific time um, and then drop off. All of these options and scenarios that I just went over are supported with NovaSign's uh, system. So to get started, I'm going to first uh, log into the system. So in the upper right, I hit login, and that takes us to our online studio and uh, dashboard. On the upper left, you'll notice here it says creatives, then it says playlists, and then it says screens. The creative section is going to be where all your content lives. So you Basically, step one, create your content, put together your templates, and, and get them ready to go. The second step is creating the playlist. So I'll first select playlists. And what we've got here is um, all of the playlists that have been made and saved. And let's say, for example, you wanted to you know, create something new. So I will hit the new playlist button. We'll start off by giving it a name. So let's say I have a screen in my lobby that uh, I want to send content to and you know, create a playlist for. So I'm going to name it Lobby Screen, and uh, let's hit the first one. So I've given it my name. And here I've got my folders of content and templates that I've made. So let's browse through it and assign some templates. So the first option is going to just be adding my templates and setting them to play through. So you'll notice here on the lower left, we've got a, uh, a duration. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. And if I wanted to kind of control it and um, you know speed it up, slow it down, what have you, I can. So simply select that. Now, let's say for example, I want the first thing to play only for 10 seconds. So I'm gonna type in 10. There you go. Second template, maybe I want that one to show for five seconds. So I type in five. And the third one, I want it to be for 15. Now, let's say for example, maybe the first one I wanna adjust the where it plays. So I simply click and drag it so it's second in order. Same thing with the third one. Maybe I want to put the third one first. So I can click and drag, readjust the order. Very, very simple. Now, another option that we have is going to pre-schedule um, the templates. So I have a fifth, fourth template. I added it, and I'm going to put my mouse over it, hit the calendar, once the calendar is hit, I've got some scheduling options. So by default, it sets play, you know, it will just play and keep rotating through. Now maybe I want it to play on a recurring time. So the, from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock every day, I would want that template to play. Or maybe I want the template to play only on Fridays and Mondays at nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. So what I'm getting at here is you've got full control over when every template plays, um, the day, the time, what have you. Another option that we have is going to set an expiration date. So let's say, um, you know, for the lobby screen that I'm putting together, I've got a guest coming in on Friday, and I want to just do a nice, simple welcome message. So I'm going to select set expire time, and I'll put it for the, uh, let's say, next month on the 8th. And I'm going to put that to play, uh, let's say, 11 o'clock. Then I'm going to set it to expire, same time, November 8th, to, pull, to expire at 11.30. And basically what you're telling the system is to play that specific template, November 8th at 11, to stop playing it November 8th at 11.30. Hit OK. And we've got it scheduled. Now, if you don't want that, simply put your mouse over and hit the trash can, and it deletes it. Very, very, very simple. Uh, another thing is you can create as many playlists as you'd like. 
So if you have a, uh, you know, your playlist set for, for next week, Monday through Friday, and then you have a, a different playlist that you want to play in two weeks, you can use, um, you know, NoviSign to put together each week's playlist and assign, you know, put it together in advance and then assign each playlist, um, you know, an entire month's worth of playlists, send them to the screens. That's another option. When it comes down to updating the playlist, that's also very easy. So let's say, for example, you've got your content put together and you created your playlist. And in two weeks, you wanted to change the, the uh, you changed some of the content that's in one of the templates. So you'd go to creatives, you'd open up your template, you'd change it. Now, whatever template you have assigned to a playlist, it will automatically update. So you won't have to reopen a million things. You simply open up your, your, your template that's already assigned to a playlist. You make your change, you hit up update, and that update will automatically sync with all of the playlists that you have put together. So it's a smart playlist. With that being said, um, you can try NoviSign out free for 30 days by simply going to our website, so NoviSign.com, selecting the Start Using NoviSign button, and you can log, put together, log in, create an account. There's no credit card needed, full 30-day trial. If you have questions, feel free to send us an email at info at, info at Thank you.